Hey, this is Jesse for bit to brain Today I want to talk about bandwidth, throughput, speed tests, and that type of things, and how it relates to your wireless connections. Now, when we talk bandwidth, we talk throughput. Uh, basically, it's important to know that bandwidth is basically the marketing term that ISPs will uh, throw out there, and you'll see in fine print, your results will actually vary. Bandwidth is basically under optimal conditions, what kind of speed you can expect. And that's usually in terms of megabits per second, so you see, you know, you hear, your bandwidth is 80 megabits a second. Well, it might not be in practice because actually throughput is really what speed you're going to get. So that takes into account um, cable type. It takes into account other users. It takes into account um, the distance the servers may be. So basically bandwidth is the marketing term and throughput is actually what you're going to get. So there are a number of speed tests out there. Uh, one that I really like is on speedtest.net and actually when you go there, you can create an account if you want to store all your different tests. And when you run this test, I recommend that you run it with a wired connection first. So that way you can test out your wireless connection in regards to that. So you have a good baseline because your wireless connection traditionally will be slower. But if it's dramatically slower, then there's an issue you may want to look at. So let's go ahead and begin this test. And what it will first do is ping. It just sends out a data packet and usually results are in terms of milliseconds and traditionally you want 30 or lower uh, you see i came up with 28. this test will also measure your download speed and your upload speed so you always hear those terms but it starts with a ping does the download speed the upload speed is traditionally going to be a bit slower than the download speed that's normal uh, maybe in a business environment you won't have that but a residential area like myself it's usually almost every time going to be slower. And you see there's my results. The ping, like I said, you want it less than 30, so it was 28 milliseconds. That's fine. Download speed, 29.85 megabits per second. That's not bad. Upload speed, just over 6 megabits per second. So let's say you run this test and your results are just dreadful. You don't know what's going on, but suddenly, you know, you did this a month ago, now you just did it and it dropped dramatically. Well, if the result is really, really bad, there's some things that you should look at in regards to your router. Make sure that it hasn't moved, you know, the structure around it hasn't moved because it has a difficult time with brick, metal, maybe there's appliances that have been moved in the environment, you know, like phones, microwaves, also using that 2.4 gigahertz range. So you might want to try unplugging these devices and then running the test again. Um, you can get certain apps for your phone or tablet that can basically, it'll show you the channel and signal strength of available wireless networks in your area. So I know there's something called Network Analyzer for your iPhone. Uh, there's something called Wi-Fi Analyzer and that's an app for Android. And like I said, it'll basically tell you all the channels and signal strengths of the um, wireless networks around your area. So look into those things first before you run out and buy a new router or access point because that's a little costly. So make sure the antenna are actually pointed in the right direction. Make sure they're not covered up. I know it's kind of annoying to see blinking lights all the time, but over the years people have been a, more, a little more acceptable to that. So, you know, if you have to put your wireless router out in an open environment, you know, hey, it's better than spending a couple hundred bucks on a new router, right? Now, if you're trying to get to a specific site, and you're having problems with it and you're not really sure if it's down is it me or whatever uh, there's a good site you can check out it's called is it down right now .com. so you can just enter the domain right here check it we'll just check Facebook and you see there's our results it's a very handy tool actually I use this quite a bit you see it's a decent amount slower I mean this is all under regards to how close the server is that it's pinging. So it'll tell you, hey, the website is probably just down for you. So that's on you, pal. So if we came up here and just typed in gobbledygook, see, that's what you get down for everyone. So those are just a few of the tools. Know the difference between bandwidth and throughput. Bandwidth is basically the advertised rate. Throughput is what you actually get with all the factors in account. Run your speed test at speedtest.net. You can set up an account. 
you can get results. And actually, another cool thing with this, uh, the show the result you can use. So if you just want to um, check your image, you can actually copy the image. So look, there's my image there. It's kind of cool if I want to save that and compare it later on. You can check out the website. There's my rating there, or the web page, I mean. It's pretty nice. And like I said, you can create an account if you want. So I hope this was helpful. This is Jesse for Bit the Brain. Thanks.